गुड डे फ्रेंड्स दिस इज इंट्रोडक्शन वीडियो ऑफ सिक्स मॉड्यूल ऑफ ओपन स्टूडियो एप्लीकेशन विच इज जी यू आई ऑफ एनर्जी प्लस एनर्जी सिमुलेशन सॉफ्टवेयर वी हैव लर्न सो फार इन अर्लियर मॉड्यूल्स वन टू फाइव अबाउट मेकिंग अ बिल्डिंग मॉडल एंड सिमुलेशन ऑफ दैट बिल्डिंग मॉडल वी एज अ पार्ट ऑफ डिफरेंट वीडियो मॉड्यूल्स वी हैव सीन हाउ टू एड एच वैक सिस्टम एंड हाउ टू परफॉर्म सिमुलेशन by defining space schedules space types construction sets etc so at the end of this after performing simulation one is expecting to enhance the performance of the building and that is achieved with the help of energy saving measures or energy efficiency measures so this energy saving measure is a tool we when we apply it to a building we can anticipate that how much energy of a building could it be a proposed or it could be existing one can be saved so here we are in this module to learn about energy saving measures when applied to open studio application so here we will have different types of measures understood we will categorize them in three basic groups and we will learn how to apply them and finally we will also understand how to check the performance after for applying those measures so measures are basically called energy efficiency technology or ee in short and they are self, very simple self contained operation say for example to a building uh, with hvac system we wish to apply erv system that is energy recovery ventilation or it is also known as enthalpy fill which exchanges heat between outgoing cold air and in ingoing ambient air so this heat exchange can be achieved with the help of erv will and when we apply this erv will to the building in a simulation engine how it can save the energy that is uh, explained in this video series there can be some other measures like changing window to wall ratio or adapting different cops or reducing uh, certain heat inputs or changing the efficiency of fan pump etc or changing the thermal values like r value of insulation material and all so all these types of measures can be applied and when we apply this measure we can anticipate the performance of building for different operating conditions so here in this diagram one energy saving measure is applied this is hvac loop which is a supply side loop and this is uh, incoming air and this is outgoing air and in between them this heat recovery will is added so that will exchange the heat between two streams upstream and downstream of the air and that will help you to reduce load on cooling or heating coil whichever is applicable another energy saving measure shown in this image is applying daylight measurement measure so in this building this is a case when daylight control is not there while over here daylight is utilized and you can see that the model has automatically adapted light cells as well as have applied some skylights at the roof this skylights are not there in the classrooms but they are there in gym and other part of the building because there the working will not be hampered so just like that many other inbuilt energy saving measures are there and a user if you if the if wish to design then can write their own code in ruby language and then implement so all these measures they basically apply to the building and anticipate the performance of the building before making it uh now the question comes how to use this measures there are two distinct ways to use this two measures two types of measures and they are either from the internet using bcl library or from the application itself so both the methods are explained with necessary examples and they are clearly explained to understand well application process so this when we go on bcl uh, uh, 
website and then we uh, create a registration then we receive one key and using that key we can download different bcl measures or energy saving measures from this website and then we can use it in open studio website so this is one way of using it on the website page different categories are there like envelopes or materials and all this capacity different energy saving measures are there so one can download from those categories for each and every measure there is an explanation as well as some parameters are also there suppose we are talking of changing efficiency then we can change the percentage of efficiency so respective value of parameter can be changed in that particular measure we can also access this measure from the open studio application itself so that is integrated or in a application only and when we go to component and measure tab of the application we can download this application as shown over here where we have to go for find the measures and find measures again there will be different categories like envelope hvac equipment economics and all so where we can download them and then we can apply it so here in this image there is a measure shown over here so here we are adding uh, energy recovery will and we are defining parameters related to that and after applying this is how it will implement and results will be generated uh, measures will be of three types open studio measure energy plus measure and reporting measures so we have to drag them and apply them to respective groups so that they can be implemented the hierarchy of this uh, measures when applied to open studio is like this initially we apply open studio measure then it converts open studio file to idf file and then if any energy plus measures are there that then those measures will be applied lately that file will be form converted in a reporting measures form so we finally have a graphical or a tabular forms available at the outset so again these three categories are there and we have to apply this re with respect to those particular category all those measures have this types of symbols available so which make them easily identifiable and we can add them to the respective page so this course is definitely helpful to those those who are working in the field of energy modeling and also looking for energy saving opportunities applied to open studio software Thank you for joining the course.